I'm Janet Lambert, the head of the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, and this morning I'm super excited to tell you about a new initiative of ours called the Grow Regen Med Internship Program. This came out of kind of our own reckoning, as many others were reckoning last summer with what to do in the wake of the George Floyd death and the kind of renewed appreciation for inequalities in our society. The ARM board met, uh, convened a task force, we called the Action for Equality Task Force, and really tried to think about what could we do that could make, the different, could make a difference in our sector. And out of that came this idea for an internship program to get black students, undergraduate and graduate students, into ARM member organizations. So all of that was conceived only just a bit more than a year ago, and then I made really basically just one good decision, which was to hire Rashida Duje Jackson to set up this internship program and to run it for us, and she has done a spectacular job. And this year we were happy to place the first class of 17 interns with 14 different our member organizations. So we're excited to tell you a little bit more about it, to introduce you to some of the interns and the employers who participated in the program. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rashida to tell you um, a little bit more and then she's going to have a dialogue here with, with some of the participants in the program. So with thanks, Thank Rashida, you, Thank take you. it away. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rashida DJ Jackson. I am the AFE program director who has managed this uh, GROW internship program. Um, I never imagined I'd be running a program in what was probably the worst year <laughs> ever with everything that we, that we had to deal with. But um, nonetheless, it was very important for me to really put something together that would give these students an opportunity to be exposed to a sector and to internships that they would never, that they probably would never even know about otherwise. Um, I have had the support of ARM and some of the employers and they've really kind of taken on this charge and really were committed to providing the students with you know, these paid internships and making a difference as far as, you know, offering them mentorship and things like that. So it's definitely been an, an interesting run. Um, we've learned some things, good and bad, but we need to, you know, what we're gonna do for next year, how we're gonna adjust, readjust, what we're gonna do. Um, but nonetheless, I, I have to say that the support that is received, that has been received from our member companies that have participated has made a world of difference for these kids. Um, we have some of them here today, not all of them, some of them have already left, but um, it's just been amazing to, to see them, to hear their stories, to meet with them, because this is the first time a lot of us have even met in person. Um, and they just did a phenomenal job, and they have made me so proud, the feedback I'm getting from people that are meeting them and just talking to them. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> they made me happy. So. Um, I would like to turn it over to some of the students, um, Rochelle en Jacques from Enzavant, who was actually one of our um, member employers who participated, and her intern is to hear Cassandra Walker, but just to really hear the different stories, some of them, um, some of the interns were lab interns, some were HR interns, some were, um, you know, we had, a, ARM itself had a finance intern, so we kind of covered, we, we had opportunities for kids in all facets that you know are studying a lot of different things and um, just had an interest in this sector. So I want to open it up to Rochelle. Um, it's interesting when Rochelle was one of the first people that I spoke to during my interview process. And um, it's always interesting to kind of understand why, like I guess what was the motivation and why you chose to participate in this program and why you thought it was important. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I think it started with um, participating in the task force, and I remember well the, the first day that we all met to, before the task force, and it was, you know, uh, as, as Janet mentioned, it was a, a, a pretty um, traumatic time and just trying to understand what was going on in the world and figure out how we could actually make some change. And, uh, you know, I, for me personally, I felt like that was a real turning point of this has become... This is, a, this is a business issue on top of all the other, you know, uh, issues that this presented. It was a business issue as well. And 
And so, you know, we really wanted to do something. And I, I think, you know, we had then this great opportunity to work together on, on uh, the task force to do something. And so I was fully bought in <laughs> before, before even the interns, you know, started to, um, you, know, uh, you know, resumes started to appear and so on. But um, I, I have to say, you know, we, we really, at, at ENDS event, we're thinking about diversity, we're thinking about, um, you know, inclusion, all of that really to, to serve what we're trying to do here in this space of innovation. And having different perspectives and having different experiences um, only helps us to add to the great thinking that it needs to be there for us to achieve what we're trying to achieve. And quite often, we need a different perspective to really kind of shake up what we're doing. So, you know, for us, it, there's a lot of really important reasons to, to continue to grow the diversity in the company and to find ways to make sure that we're tapping into that diversity. So this was a wonderful way for us to continue on, on that journey and really make a, a commitment to, um, it, you know, much more tangibly to not just changing the, the um, diversity within our company, but also hopefully, you know, exposing lots of uh, great talent to this, to this wonderful industry. And we're searching <laughs> for great talent. And, and, you know, this is all a matter of, um, you know, there aren't necessarily folks that are just sitting around with all of the knowledge that we need yep. <clears throat> to succeed in this, in this space. So this, this has been a wonderful experience. And we, Rashida, we weren't sure, right? You came in and uh, it was a little late and we didn't have the relationships with the universities and so on. And so we thought, well, we're gonna give this a go and we'll see how it goes this year. And it blew us away, I, I have to say. Thank you. It, it, it's been just phenomenal. Cassandra uh, has uh, you know, joined us for the summer did very meaningful work for us, has um, had a major impact on even things that we're able to, you know, talk about externally, um, and, and her contributions have been real. And uh, so much so that we um, luckily were able to keep her with us for a little bit longer. So she's actually, um, you know, spending uh, some hours a week with us still as she's now back, uh, back at school. And um, we're really pleased that she's agreed to do that, and, uh, and hopefully we have a, a long relationship to come. But um, she's, I just want to say thanks to Cassandra. I can't see you because of the lights, but uh, <laughs> I know you're here. <laughs> and uh, really, um, I, I just have to add what, one more thing. Is that last night I was at a reception, and I can't tell you how many people were buzzing about, have you met the interns, and they're so great. And uh, that was really fun, but on top of that, I met a couple of folks who had interns this past summer, and I'm just gonna say, they're already thinking about next year, I'm gonna need two or three, so sign up early. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> program, but sign up early. Yes, so. thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. Um, we also have two interns. Um, that participate in the program this summer. We have Jamila Ritter, who was with Amicus. Um, she was actually in supply chain management, was a, which was a little bit outside of you know our typical lab and science interns that we had hired. Um, and she was actually hired by Amicus full time at the end of her internship. So Jamila, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about that experience, that would be great. Yep. So hi everyone. I'm Jamila. Uh, I actually just completed my master's of supply chain analytics at Rutgers University. And um, at Amicus, I worked in global supply chain where my primary responsibility was around helping with master data and implementing SAP. So that took up the bulk of my summer, but one of the things that stayed with me was how this is an industry that I would never have considered if it wasn't for this program. Right, um, and I was able to learn about gene therapy, which I didn't know much about at all, um, and actually work on the LRP for CLN3 and CLN6, which are the therapies that Amicus is working on for Batten's disease. So it was an amazing opportunity. So thank you guys for participating. Thank you. We also have Ife, who was with, he spent some time with Prevail. And he was my last hire, so he's very near and dear to my heart because he made it over the, the finish line at like the last point where we were about to cut it off. So um, if, if you want to share a little bit about 
yourself and about your experience at Prevail, that would be wonderful. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ife Olua Awolia. I am currently in my undergraduate program, pursuing my degree at NJIT for biomedical engineering, focusing in biomechanics. So like Rashida said, I worked at Prevail Therapeutics this summer. I was the last. <laughs> and um, this program really opened the door for me because I've been looking for an internship for a while. I'm currently in my fourth year at NJIT. So every time I would go to recruiters and show my resume, they would say, oh, your resume is great. You just need some experience under your belt, but we want to hire you, but just a little bit more experience. But you know, not a lot of people would offer that experience that they were looking for. And with the GROW internship program, when my back was against the wall and it felt like there was nothing else for me, Rashida came <laughs> and she offered me this, um, this internship. And so I worked at Prevail as a process development intern, uh, working on developing AAV drug products, working with AAV9, AAV6, as well as other things in the lab. And it was a little bit outside of my major. Like I said, I focus in biomechanics, but it opened a whole new world for me. And it's actually changed my decision on where I actually want to pursue and what career I'd actually like to be in. So yeah, I feel like this is an opportunity that if I feel like I didn't have, I actually don't know what I would be doing afterwards. It would be a struggle. So I appreciate the program. It's dear and dear to my heart. Yeah, and I will say that these interns were not just, you know, although they were matched to the opportunities, they had to still interview. It wasn't like an automatic selection process. They were interviewed, had to, some of them had to go through two to four rounds of interviews. Um, so they had to actually secure the position. So they did the hard part. <laughs> I just made the introductions, matched them, and they actually had to go in and prove that they were the right person for the role. Um, so I think that it, this has been um, something that we're looking forward to growing out. We're looking forward to building. We're probably, I anticipate that we're going to probably try to have 30 interns for summer of 2022. Um, and I do suggest that everyone here, if you're interested, that you do make the deadline of December 31st <laughs> to enroll. Um, because that is, you know, at some point we, ha we, we have to keep it manageable and just have to, um, the students are starting to come in and we just have to keep it, you know, make sure that we can get everyone in on time and make sure that we continue to give everyone a good experience both on the intern side and the candidate and the company side as well. So I don't know if anybody has any questions. Yes, Janet. Um, there is a slide with the deadlines. Hold on. It was there, right? Oh, there. It's there. There's the deadlines. Yes. Yes. Hold on one second. We need to get a mic. Good morning, I'm, I'm Christoph. Um, I'm working for Körber Pharma Software in the IT space. So okay. we are not directly related to uh, lab and research. Okay. But would that adjacent field also be something to consider? Yes, we have interns that have covered, I mean, we, we also cover the operations side, the IT. It's any students that have an interest in learning about this sector. So whether that's IT, HR, we had an HR intern, we had a finance intern. So we will, we will have IT interns as well if we have the opportunities for them. Okay, I can my VPHR get connected to you? Yes, I, you can, there's my email there, but I will also give you, if you want to exchange cards with me, yeah. then I can reach out and send you the information as well. Thanks. You're welcome, thank you. Any other questions? Hold on one second, let's get, Mike, can you get him a mic please? Thank you. Is that Len? Yes, Len. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, I can't the, see. The box. Hi, Len. Good morning. Len Valentino from the National Hemophilia Foundation. Good morning. So, you know, it may not seem like uh, a logical or a, a easy place to place an intern, but we had Tierra Crosby yes. as one of our interns um, who worked with public policy mm -hmm. and really did some amazing work for, with our team and I think got a lot out of it, I hope. Uh, but certainly our team felt, uh, you know, it was a really gratifying experience, both from the interaction perspective, but also the, the work that, that TR was able to do. So it was a super positive experience. So even in a patient advocacy organization, there's a place for an intern like this. I mean, it's an, it's an amazing opportunity for these young people. So thanks for everything that you're doing. Thank you. 
Anyone else? <laughs> Playing catch, so. <laughs> Dalip from Turumo Blood and Cell Technology. We had Ariana in our yes. lab. And it's, it's exciting to see how much they learn when they come, and maybe she can speak better than me. <laughs> uh, coming to the lab, understanding, starting from the scratch, like uh, all the aspects of cell therapy and how much goes into it, and when you're surrounded by the scientists, you get a better appreciation for it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a win-win both for the companies to train the upcoming talent, but also to create some excitement uh, across broader communities and say, oh, this is an exciting space to be in. Yes. And I'm sure after they do internship, they want to go and say, oh, I want to learn more about this. This is an exciting field that we didn't know about this one. They do. They do. I know that we are at our time, so oh. I just want to, <laughs> sorry, but I want to thank all of you. Um, and I, my information is in the slide. I will be here for a little bit longer today if you'd like to connect and get some more information. Um, but thank you, all of you, for your time today. I appreciate it.